for example, marginal benefit, marginal cost, so per unit, then average benefit and average cost sometimes. The difference between marginal uh, being, comparing uh, per unit cost, they are the same. Okay, commonality is the marginal cost up, uh, will come to that you know, pretty soon, will come to the, the, the concept of average cost and average pretty soon. But as for now, average cost is per, per unit too. So if you are average GPA per unit, 4.5. 4. <laughs> 4. 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, per unit like, is just average, right? Average, averages are per unit. Okay, and then marginals are per unit too. Only difference is that average in a range, average. Okay? Marginal on a spot, particular spot, on a particular moment, that's only difference. Okay. Market price, come to think of it, that's nothing other than per unit. But the price of Apple, the price, the cost of one unit you pay, right? Beyond, uh, GN you pay something per unit. That's price, right? One bottle of per unit. Okay. That's market price is per unit thing. And then percentage change is the same story. The per unit change. For example, so. In terms of uh, absolute dollar values, a mini, you are, you are favorite. So you're the favorite, right? Mini. Don't tease, don't tease or annoy the mini. You know that, right? The mini, you, 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 you admire or you aspire to drive a mini. You know the small car mini, small, small car mini. The, 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 the real plate, it comes always the same. Don't tease or annoy the mini. Don't do that. The car is very small. Okay, your small boys or small <laughs> children, you tend to annoy your teeth, right? <laughs> this, this, what did you do? <laughs> this is teasing, right? Only small boys, right? Mini is very small, so you may tend to tease or annoy. Don't do that. That's very expensive. That's very expensive, right? Mia, Gia, do you own a, a mini? Do you have a mini? Sayhan, do you? Okay, Aff unaffordable, but voila, it's not affordable, right? Very, very, very expensive. Don't tease it. <laughs> so anyway, so over the year, a year, <coughs> last year the price was hundred twenty thousand dollars, pretty high. Eh? Right. This year the price has been lifted to hundred thirty thousand dollars. What's the price change in price? Okay, five thousand dollars, right? Now, quite a affordable thing. iPhone, two hundred dollars last year. It has been lifted to two hundred fifty dollars. What's the change in price? Fifty dollars, right? So, which has the which has the bigger change in price? Mini or iPhone? iPhone. Absolutely, iPhone, right? How can you say that? Only per dollar change, right? Previously, so. Previously, per dollar change was, uh, in case of mini, it's only <coughs> merely, merely 4%, right? That's a 4% change, while uh, iPhone change is 25% change. So absolutely, the change is big. So that's the way why we, how we uh, say, okay, how we talk about, right? So I mean, am I right? Are you with me? So, this time, one dollar <coughs> become, in case of iPhone, one dollar has become one dollar, 20, one dollar and 25 cents. While the other case, one dollar has become 1.004 dollars, 1.004 dollars. So in that sense, per dollar change, right? Is, is that clear to you? So in, in this way, in our everyday life, normally when you make a comparison, who's taller? Who's taller? KHN. I shouldn't say that. So anyway, compa comparing quantitative things, normally we say per unit, right? Okay. Then the law of supply and demand. Law of demand is the law of demand. We have law of demand, law of supply, and we law of demand and supply, supply and demand. But yeah, very closely interrelated but separate. Law of demand. <coughs> 
is that demand curve downward sloping. This is why that is, that's the law, okay? The, the description, the demand, individually or market-wise, demand is, is downward sloping. That's the law of demand. Demand downward sloping. Why that is? Why is that? This is because of the law of diminishing marginal benefit. In this case, marginal utility. When you buy something, that's to enjoy utility from the thing. Is that clear to you? Okay, no problem. Then, just for your reference, it's useful to know in any market, in any market, there are demand curve and supply curve, right? Demand curve, whatever the market is, demand curve is always stands for some type of benefit, marginal benefit. Eh? It's marginal revenue, marginal utility, mm, eh, eh, things that, like that or the satisfaction of your hunger or thirst, quenching your thirst, all good things. A law of supply is the, just the opposite. Law of supply is the supply curve, above sloping, and then law of law supply curve in any market okay, represents some type of marginal cost. Keep this in mind, whatever the market is, always that apply. I should have said all this, 99% of the time. Okay. Then market, law, <coughs> law of supply and demand is nothing other than market clearance principle. By the action of the price, by the adjustment of the price, at the end of the day, quantity supplied should be, should be, I say, should be equal to quantity demanded. And then should be, once I refer to it, as uh, accounting identity should be identity yeah, should be equal all the time. I explain difference between an identity and an, an equation, didn't I? I explained that right. Someone did I do that? Shall I do that? Explain one more time difference between an identity and an equation. One more time. Identity should be should be the equation the relationship should hold no matter where. That's identity. Identity actually from definition, we defined it in that way. But equation is that only a particular case the relationship holds. Okay, this equation is for Tejun. This is equation. Only a particular, only one case this equation holds. TJ, when is it? You, TJ, you give me the answer. So when this, does this equation hold? That was my question. Two? Two, right? O yeah. Only two, this holds. That's the equation. A particular case, relationship holds. That's the equation. When two? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what identity can I give you? Okay. Oh, we'll come to that sometime in the macroeconomics. We'll come to this. Okay, macroeconomics. PY. Okay. This is one of the most uh, typical. Most, or uh, another one. Macroeconomics, we have many of things like that. This is should be, should be. Likewise, microeconomics, I explain this one. D, oh no. At the end of the day, at the end of the day. Remember one more time, what we look for in uh, economics is almost all this partial equilibrium analysis. Equilibrium, at equilibrium, this should hold. Okay. Then otherwise, the system cannot be in equilibrium. Okay. <coughs> Is that clear to you? These three bars represents, three bars represents collectively, three bars represents identity, handengsi in the Korean language. This is equation only in a very, very particular case when, in this case, x is two, the relationship holds. Okay. Is that clear? That's bangjengsi, handengsi, Korean language. This is in English equation. 
foreign language 방정식. Yeah, this is identity in English. Or sometimes we call accounting identity. The reason why we call accounting identity is one more time. This is origination. Is the thinking is originated from double entry bookkeeping. As you understand, double entry bookkeeping. Okay, you sell something. Okay, you sell something for let's say hundred million dollars. The entry is your entry makes sales. Your sales one hundred million dollars, right? Okay. <laughs> so double N means million. That's general practice. So what did you see? Money. You you take money, right? Money. <coughs> Always you enter in this way. This is double entry bookkeeping principle. Double entry. Double entry. You double entry means for a single trade you make two entries. That's double entry. The double entry. Because of this. Basic principle is that you'll, you'll enter same amount, exactly same amount on the left-hand side okay, the other time, twice. Once, left-hand side, second time, right-hand side. Then at the end of the day, you keep doing this. So you, no matter how many items, so two sides, sides should balance out, right? Is that clear? That's because of this, this I keep saying should be. Okay, the market clearance principle, no leftovers due to the adjustment by the price. Mismatch, today our main topic is the surplus and deficit. Surplus is the excess demand and then uh, deficit is, oh no, no, surplus is excess supply. The deficit is excess demand, okay. Incidentally, that's a topic today. But right now, I, I'm, we are doing review what we learned the last year. So, market clearance principle. Okay, the good thing is that what a what a wonderful world. Okay, no no matter what we touch, we are in equilibrium all day, all this. Okay, so one more time, it's guaranteed. Equilibrium is guaranteed. Okay. So, Sangyeon certainly stops okay, eating sushi some, yeah, okay, in, on the way. He never keeps eating and blow himself up. <laughs> blows himself up. Don't do that. Okay. If you keep eating sushi, you may run the risk of blowing yourself up. Don't do that. But luckily, you, nobody would do that, right? Danny, would you do that? Would you keep eating sushi endlessly? So such so marginal utility keeps decreasing, right? Keeps decreasing, and then this is it keeps increasing, right? Cost increasing because then they have to meet, right? One goes this way, one goes that way. They have to meet. They are destined to meet. You are destined to meet somebody in the future. <laughs> you have to <laughs> just like they are destined because one is going up, the other going down. They have to meet somewhere, right? This is equilibrium point. Okay. No matter what you do, okay, you'll start here. Okay, start. You'll end up here. You nobody we would eat endlessly or buying anything endlessly. Nobody would do that. Okay, so no matter what you do, you do you have okay, moderation, modesty, prudence, okay, so, or discipline. Okay, then. Just what a wonderful world, right? So luckily, simply because then it doesn't eat up all the sushi, you have some, some sushi to eat, right? What a wonderful world, right? It is. Okay. Is that clear? So this is guaranteed because of, thanks to two great laws, the law of diminishing benefit, the law of increasing cost. So because of these two laws, there should be an equilibrium, okay? Then, that's the one thing. Then, equilibrium is guaranteed. Number two, equilibrium is stable. Stable means out of the system, you see, it's the, pushes, the system pushes the, the, the uh, non-equilibrium into the equilibrium. As we all understand, right? When we hear this is, uh, 
excess supply, right? When the excess supply, they will beat down the price. And the excess demand, demand also will beat up, beat up the, the, the market price until two of them are equal, or the fourth is. Just for your mental game, you do this home over the just of holidays. What if, okay, this is D. No, this is S, this is D. Here, it can be possible. Right here, quantity demanded is exactly the same as quantity supplied, right? But once out of the equilibrium, it diverges. You can check that out on your own. Somehow, this is by coincidence, equilibrium is possible because no left over here, <laughs> no left over is, is. But that's unstable. Once out of, okay, that's very easy, you can do that. Here, this is de supply, this is demand, right? That's, I, 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 I just reversed the, the, the name tag. This is demand. So what do we have here? Demand is bigger, right? Demand is bigger. You have short supply, right? What, what will you do? You will increase or decrease price? You will increase price, right? As you increase price, it is moves in this direction. That's diverse. OK, by this, you can say that this one, presence of equilibrium and stability of equilibrium, the following page. Okay. Uh, roles of the market price, Mankiw says that the baton, okay, the conducting stick, so, uh, the conducting is, uh, what, what do you call that? The conductor has like, this direction. That's baton, right? <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> so, this is uh, one fact. Is, so, price is the efficient allocator. So, we'll come to that more specifically. What efficiency means sometime in the future. What efficiency specifically means? So, it's simply right now I I explained that the most efficient allocation of resources. That's efficiency. So. Sometime in the future, maybe two weeks later, we'll see what efficiency specifically, specifically means in economics. To that. But as of now, the two price has two functions. One is encapsulation of all the information, market information, is, we say in that way. The end result of interaction of millions of people, okay, we assume. In, we are simply assuming they, but that's very close to the reality. Interaction of there are many suppliers and there are many, many, many uh, demanders and governments and all the, the interaction between these so many people of so many types, then we have the price. So you can encapsulation of all the market information. That's number one. Number two, incentives. Uh, price gives you incentives. Uh, willingness to pay or willingness to sell okay, from the price given to you. So you have to make the decision whether to buy it or not. Well, seller's point of view. So two functions, keep this in mind, price. Now what determines the market price? Condition number one, voluntary exchange. Okay. Voluntary exchange. This is condition number one. So we assume all the market trades are made on the basis of seller's own free will or buyer's own free will. Two. Okay, everything is voluntary. Then uh, after interaction of if this is right, is there. So the market price is defined by the market. So all the the synthesis of all the market forces, you have the price. And the market price determined in this way is the best allocator of resources, or the most beneficial to, to the society. Then, conclusion, the price is right. That's not the game of the American TV show. American TV show, they are, it's not available anymore. Is anyone from America? There used to be a very popular TV show, The Price is Right. You make the right guess to the price, you, you win the product. Yeah, that's a TV show. But anyway, the price is right. This is not the title of TV show one more time. The price is right. 
don't complain okay, about the price. If you, you are not satisfied with the current market price, all that you need to do is what? Make a file a complaint to the government or what? Don't buy it, right? You simply, what all that you are to do is to walk away. Okay, walk away. You are not satisfied with the market, just go back home and take a sleep. That's all that you require to do. Okay? Keep this in mind. Many, many Korean people, uh, consumers and the government sometimes misunderstand that. Somebody, government has to uh, exercise, exercise some influence of the market. This is absolutely wrong. Okay? Okay. If you are simply, as long as you are in free market economy, which is to be, is given to us, right? Is there anyone, does there anyone choose to live in socialist society? Anyone ready to go across the national border, DMZ? Is anyone ready to go there? So if you, so you have only two choices. One is capitalism, the other socialism. Of which, which would you choose? One chance. Free market, right? So that's our, that's your choice. So, so you have first choice, you have two choices, two, two step choices. One is socialism, capitalism. On gun, which would you choose? Capitalism, socialism? Make it clear. Capitalism or socialism? Now choose one. Capitalism, you, you have chosen, you have chosen capitalism, right? Capitalism, then you are agreed. That's only thing, it's uh, in, implicitly, you have agreed that. I agree. All market trade will be on, on the basis of my own free will, and that I understand the market price is right. Because market price is the, the, as I say, all the conditions available in the world. Okay, so good harvest, price goes up, goes down. Goes down, bad harvest, price goes up, right? That's quite legitimate, and that's good for us. Okay. When, okay, when we have bad, bad weather, what pe are people to, to, to do? Are they uh, uh, profligate or, uh, or, or frugal in buying, consuming uh, crops? Okay, bad harvest time, bad harvest. So they have to be, people are to be frugal or spendthrift. Spendthrift is uh, uh, highly cons uh, consuming. Okay, so, it's, so which is people, does people have, do people have to be in bad harvest? They have to refrain, refrain what they, are they encouraged or simply put? Okay, in, in bad harvest, are people encouraged or discouraged to consume uh, crops? Discouraged, right? So when price is high, are you encouraged or discouraged? Discouraged. Yeah, that's quite natural. In bad harvest, you are to uh, uh, save, okay, consume as uh, little uh, crop as possible, or good harvest the other way around. Yeah, this, the market price tells that to do the exactly that, right? Okay. So because of this, the prices. So getting back to Angun, don't compare, don't complain about the price. Okay. If anything, complain you. Did you know that when you, when you complain about the market price, it is you who contribute to the price hike, right? You, because just because you would like to buy the, the thing, price goes up or goes down, goes up. It's you. If anyone, the point you are point you point your finger at you, not the market. Okay? This is a very important point. In the free market economy, basic assumption is basic assumption number one: free will, voluntary exchange, and another assumption is another assumption. Reality is. Resources are li limited, right? When you, your resources are limited, well, which would you, you are limited resource first, higher value or lower value? 
Why are we really obscure? That's what you do there. Okay? Price going up, going down because of this over time. The price is always right. Here, one more time, fair, fair to trade, fair competition. You are not forced to do anything. Yeah, keep this in mind. Okay, so here, the blank, the, I, I gave the answer, right? If you are not happy with the price, then simply walk away. Walk away from the trade. Okay, take a slip. Don't argue with the market price. Take a slip is much better proposition. Okay, now uh, this may be a slightly uh, difficult for some of you to understand, but it, anyway, this time this is really useful. Okay, so I'm going to explain a bit of, just a, a small bit of, small bite of uh, uh, calculus. So this time, don't, don't be scared. This, my story from now on doesn't have anything to do with your midterm exam. Don't worry about that. So just to give you some idea, what calculus and the small delta thing is uh, relevant to our everyday life. Okay? Now, uh, the handy example is the maybe most practical example is that there are, okay, there are three guys okay, driving uh, to school. Okay, school, incidentally, school is 60 kilometers away from each one's home. Okay? The TJ, the impatient, Sengjil Gopan Nom. Sengjil Gopan Nom. So he, he drives it through in 30 minutes. So what's his speed? 120 kilometers, right? So we, we drive in this way, the driving distance. This is a Sengjil Gopan Nom. Okay, is, is everyone comfortable with this? This is di diagram here. Correct. Okay. Here. This is home school. Six, this is six kilometers away, six kilometers away. Home school. Okay. This is time, driving time, in hour. In hour. It's a slightly incon inconvenient, but we are so much uh, accustomed to KP. H. KPH is kilo per hour. Okay, so normally we talk when it's speed, drawing speed, we say almost always in that, we, we almost never say punsok, chasok, or wind. In case of wind, we say punsok, but driving, we never discuss driving, driving speed in, in terms of S, SPH. Second, no, no, KPS. Kilometer per second. We never say in that way. So what we do is that, okay, in KPH is the Korea or Europe, or excluding Anglo-American tradition. Anglo-American days in mile. Huh? You go, you go to England or America. They say mile. So mile is mph. Korea, we use kilometers. Latvia, you use kilometers too. Netherlands, you use kilometers. Malaysia, K my kilometer, K KPH. America, anyway, is so KP, no, MPH. England, I'm not sure. In England, what do they use? Kilometer or mile? 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 So anyway, the thing is that the case of TJ, is, uh, is, is constant speed. This is 30 minutes, half an hour, okay, half an hour. Our assumption is that <coughs> is constant speed. No acceleration, no, no, no. He makes a sudden start and a sudden stop, sudden stop right here. Of course, this is not, not possible in the real world. But digital world, this is possible. This digital world, anything is possible, right? So, but just a simple assumption. Then this is originated from here. Okay. What is the his driving speed? 120, right? This is average speed. What about here? This is something, let's say, one quarter point. What is the driving speed here? The momentary speed. Well, you may say momentary. Speed at that particular moment, what is it? 
when I turn, right? Any point, this is what I call this is this is okay, constant speed. Constant speed. Constant speed like this, you don't have it, this is anything like the tuning. You don't have this one. Okay. You don't have an intercept right. In this case, only in this case, average cost is the same as marginal cost. Okay. Momentary right here. Everybody can I think everyone is me. You're here. Okay. Question number one. The, his average cost is 120. Very easy to understand, right? But momentary, momentary cost, the speed at here is the, normally we do this, right? This is delta T, delta T. So we calculate in this way, delta T, delta T. What is it? 103. It's the same story, right? Okay. Then the other way, Sengchal is, Sengchal is, Sengchal is very cautious guy. What is, what is his driving speed? What is his driving speed? <coughs> Jayun, what's his, Sengchal's driving speed? You calculate this. 40. 40, right? 40. That's very easy, 40. But same story. The speed is very slow. In this case, again, so it goes from, so this is, this is TJ's, okay? TJ's driving. The SC is driving T equals 40 T. So here again, we don't have anything like this. Huh? In this case, so average is the same as, average is the same as, okay? The same as marginal. Okay. The, strang the strangest goal is, of course, who's this? SW the node is the Walgadak. <laughs> SW Walgadak. Who is S SW? <laughs> Whoever that is, I don't know. Whoever that is. Walgadak, node is Walgadak. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, okay. The, this is close to the reality, right? Normally what you do is, initially you accelerate, and then constant, you call cruise, right? Cruise driving, you cruise, and then constant speed, you can do that. And then finally, you decelerate. Okay. So, this is most interesting and most uh, realistic case, is this one. So, initially, okay, for your reference, so you'll come to this sometime in the future, eventually, is, is, is convex to the origin is accelerates, okay, increasing speed. Okay, then you have cruise, she puts this in, cruise, cruise is constant speed. And then deceleration, this, this is, okay, con concave to the origin is deceleration, means deceleration. One more time, this is the origin. This curve is convex, Olokam, Korean language, okay. One term will up Olokam, okay. This is convex to the origin, represent acceleration. Speed goes up, so it increases. Here, likewise, constant speed. Okay. This is deceleration. This is Omokam, one term will up Omokam. Concave to the origin represents deceleration. Okay. It's useful to remember. Anyway, so we are here, six kilometers. Question number one: What is okay? Walgadak's uh, average speed? Six kilometers, right? But uh, in the middle way, she changes the, the speed. Here, we are interested in finding out. Let's say this is. Let's say. Okay, this is how, how many minutes, something like this, until the, the, the cruise driving, she uh, keeps this one. Then she wants to, let's say, she wants to find speed right here. Speed here, okay. speed right here. As we understand, in this curve, speed, we are, simply we understand, right? Speed is presented by, actually speed is, in, uh, speed is nothing other than, okay, per, Per hour driving distance, 
Yeah. Marginal driving. So if this keeps change on this curve, this is nothing other than delta t, delta t. Marginal, okay, marginal driving distance per hour. That's speed. Okay. In an hour, how much do you drive? In the case of the cautious, okay? Uh, and then your TJ uh, is 성질 급한 놈, 침착한 놈, you say in, that, in your language. TJ is 성질 급한 놈, SC is 침착한 놈. 침착한 놈 drives in, right? That's straightforward, that's very easy, right? Yeah, trouble always, Walgata gives us trouble. Okay. She keeps changing her speed <coughs> to find this out. The problem is that moment by moment, it keeps changing, right? So we are interested right at this moment, on over 16th hour, okay? On over 16th hour, by finding that out. Then, because of this so changing is that, remember, so like uh, to generalize, so T2, okay, we are interested in to finding out her T1, T2. No, no, no. This the, a particular point, this one. Okay, so. Okay, you want to find T1 delta T. This is what you call momentary, momentary speed at that particular moment. However close that may be, if two points are different, speed are different, right? So, so that's what you call momentary. Okay. Then, okay. Then we are going to this one. This one. Okay. Let's magnify it. This one. So our assumption is this is just just to give you an example. Two hundred. Text. I note. I use two hundred. Okay. T two. T square. Here. It's pretty right. You know, this is, uh, this is, what do you call this? This is not hyper, hyperbola, this is parabola, because Pomulsen, okay, this is parabola, right? This is, you learned that, right, parabola. Is this parabola? But hyperbola is Sangokusen. Hyperbola is Sangokusen, parabola. Anyway, you understand what I mean, okay, anyway, this is, so, Second order equation relations with this one. Oh. <coughs> so here, so to, to find this out, we have to figure this out, right? This is T1, this is delta T, delta D. Okay, this, is, this, this is what we would like to know, right? So <laughs> this is the delta, so the distance, this is T1, point T1. And this is point, what point is this? <coughs> this is T1, what is this? T2. T2 equal T1 plus delta T, whatever that is, okay? Whatever that is, delta 2. Now this is D1 plus D2, D2, okay? What is D1? So equation wise, hmm? equation wise, D1, what is D1? No, before that, before that. D1 is, so T equal 200 T. This is a given equation, okay? given equation to us. You learn this actually high school days, but this kind of review, uh, to give you some idea how differentiation works. This differentiation is mibun. Mibun is uh, one big, the first big part of calculus, as you understand, uh, calculus consists of uh, differentiation and integration, mibun and jokbun. Calculus in the Korean language we call mizokbun, right? Mizok, mizok, UK is mizokbun. So calculus, English, uh, differentiation, mibun, integration, jokbun. Normally we say mizokbun, mizok. Okay. So it starts from here. This is starting point of different differentiation. <coughs> So, oh, I have, we have only five minutes for this one. So, D1 is that we say T1 distance is D1. 
T2 distance is T D2. Okay, we, think, we think in that way. So if D, what is D1? Right? D1 moment. D2, what is D2? You have 200, I say 200 T2 square is 200 T2, no, T1 plus delta T square, right? Is everyone comfortable with this? We say in this way. Here, this is T1. T2 is delta T, this one. No, no, delta T, I'm sorry. Okay, delta T, this is it, right? Okay, so if you are not comfortable with this, don't worry about this. This because this doesn't have anything to do with midterm exam. So because of time constraint, let me quickly finish this story. Okay, so D two, D one subtracted by what is this? This one two hundred T one plus delta T square T one. No, no, delta T minus two hundred. Okay. T one square. Okay. Okay. Then expand this. <laughs> you, 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 you expand this. Right? You expand this. Okay. Calculus is very simple. Just, this is simply nothing other than multiplication, what you call arithmetic. This is nothing other than Sembon. Sembon, you know, Sembon means you get plus, minus, plus uh, multiplication, subtraction, division, division. That's all arithmetic. So you can do that without referring to anything at all. So what is this? So you have, actually, you don't need 200, eh? but to make it easy, actually, it's, 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 it's cumbersome. But, but anyway, you have to have this, right, to make a story. So you uh, expand this. So yeah. Okay, right? Okay. Hey. So what do we have? So this is okay, let's skip here. Because two t one delta t plus delta t square, okay, in this way. Then the thing is that we are interested in delta t. What is this? This is speed, speed at t one. What this means is that uh, we are interested to find out momentary speed is t one point right here, not everything. Momentary speed is nothing other than marginal speed of driving. Marginal distance of driving is marginal distance of driving is nothing other than speed. Is it clear? Okay. This is only this is time dimension. This is time dimension is this is space dimension. Uh, two different dimensions anyway. So uh, as usual, we are, what we d is the delta d. Delta d means d two minus d one is delta d, right? Right here. Delta d is what is this? D Two minus d one, right? This delta t our definition. So, what do we have right now here? Still, we have two hundred, right? Right, you here, here. So, I divide this delta t. What do we have? Two t one plus delta t, right? Is everyone comfortable with this? We are almost there now. We are ready to make the call right now. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. I'll wrap this up in three minutes. Before discussing any further, this discussing any further. Can you what is this? It's not defined, right? Not defined. <laughs> zero over zero. How about this? 1 over 0. It's not defined. You cannot define that because you cannot divide anything with 0. You cannot do that. 
keep this in mind. But this is very different. So let's see. OK. Uh, so we have an uh, um, equation okay, of our interest. Equation of our interest. Somehow we find out, you got scientists find out this relation for, for a certain uh, phenomena in our world. Okay. In case you find out this one, x plus x minus 1, x square 1. Find out this is, uh, so, okay. some, peop, some uh, scientists come to you, oh, this is the right, right the equation to explain the relations between this and that. Let's say this is y. So y is something is defined by you. Maybe sales revenue, your sales revenue is defined in this way. Okay. That's highly possible. Okay. Then we want to, okay, is it, what if I, I, x is 1? What if x is 1? What will be our, when x is 1, what will be our sales revenue? Oh, it's not defined. It's, it, it, because y equals 0 over 0 is nothing. Cannot okay. When, okay, here x is 1, it's, it's, in, in the, it's undefined. We don't know what that is. Okay. No. But what if x limit, this is the notation, x goes 1. This means x is not, not exactly 1. Infinitely, infinitesimally close, very, very close, like the relations between Song uh, Soyeon and Mi Jiyeon. Very, very close, right? Still two different entity. So they are, but very, very close. Long time no see Jing Yong. The key point here, they are very, very close, but Still, not not one. Okay. Here is the magic. Now okay. you call limit x minus one, x minus one, x plus one, x minus one. Right? You can divide this away, right? If this is zero, you cannot do that. But however close, if they are not zero, you can do that. People, this is tiny, zero point zero 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 zero. Same story, zero point zero 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 zero. You keep doing that. 10 years. You, this is the same story. You can, zero, zero, you can do that same 10 years. Take a slow, still you can watch them out, right? Offset. So equal what? Limit x minus 1 is x plus 1, right? What's the answer? 2. Now we have finite answer. This is easy. This is calculus. So this is nothing other than calculus. Calculus is this. So, <coughs> delta t is zero. You cannot calculate. But this infinitely is very, very kept close. Okay, then you, see, you can do this. Remember, s t one equal limit. Simply, you delta t zero. Okay, delta zero is uh, approaches right. Very, very close. Approach zero. Then you see. From this one equation, you have what is this? This is S equal 200. This is our calculation, right? Delta T, delta D. Okay. This is moment, D1 moment, at that moment, to, to denote this is at that moment. So what do we have right now? Limit delta T. Zero, no, it, and this we have this one, right? Whatever there is, whatever delta t is not zero. So you can use this equation, right? What is this? Limit delta t equals zero. Two hundred two t one plus delta t. What is this? This is negligible, right? Delta T is negligible. Remember, delta T is 0 0.000, 000 you keep doing <laughs> 10 years. That's negligible, simply. So this goes away. What is this? 200. Okay. 
you can do that very carefully, very easily from this equation. So T1 is 1 over 0 0.1 over 16th mo hour moment. Remember here? Initially, this was something like that, right? Initially, okay, Walgazak's drag speed is something like this one, okay? And then this is, let's say, I assume that eight one th she stops accelerating. This is 16th one moment. At this moment, what is her speed? It's simply 16, one over 16 is there. 30, 30 second moment, this is hour. One over, so you understand what I mean, right? Well, an hour is 60 minutes, so you can calculate one minute, uh, approximately two minutes later, something like that. Le a little less than two minutes later, her speed, is, you just put that in. Is it clear? That's that easy, that's calculus. Yeah. Calculus, when you, you learn calculus, if, you see, what I call x square, why this is first of the calculus. This is nothing other than limit delta x zero, delta y, no, delta x, delta y, what is this? You learn this, right? 2x, this is from here, okay? Probably you will learn this in the high school days. This is nothing other than, this is calculus, it's all about, like, very close, effectively same, same, but still different. That's calculus is all about, okay? So, so by doing this, okay, you can, any point you can cal calculate, calcul calculus is to calculate the small thing. Calculus, calculus, calcul calculation, this is it, okay? I hope this helped you understand the, about the momentary or marginal thing. This, remember, this is marginal thing. Delta T, delta everything, delta Q, delta C, is that because, simply because C keeps changing, total cost keeps changing point to point, however close two of them may be, so you have to take very, very small. So, <coughs> marginal cost equal limit delta Q, zero, delta Q, delta C. This is not other than marginal. So that's what I, the set, what I meant when I said, okay, marginal things is the slope at the very point of you are interested there. Is that clear? Okay, let's break. Up for 10 minutes, come back by 10 minutes after 10. <laughs> Leave the market alone, it, uh, it uh, uh, achieves uh, most efficient allocation on its own. Flip side of that is uh, uh, not free market, government, which we mean effectively, we mean government intervention is all, always, always uh, distort. Uh, resource allocation, but nonetheless, nevertheless, we need government at any rate, because government has to play very, very important, critical roles. Okay. Simply put, without government, okay, free market cannot be maintained or sustained. So simply, for sustainability, sustainability of the market, we need government. And then, problem with that is, Come, because government is not a money-making operation, money-spending operation, so government has to collect the taxes to play its roles. It's unavoidable. But this type of uh, uh, intervention is avoidable. But anyway, one more time. Two big categories of government intervention is number one, direct control. Number two, collecting taxes. And then the second alternative is unavoidable. First uh, alternative is avoidable. First case is avoidable. Then let's discuss this two, uh, uh, some cases right here. Uh, first thing is the price ceiling, price control. Ceiling and floor, uh, Wednesday we'll, we'll talk about the floor. The ceiling is the, can you go over, uh, over the ceiling? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes people do go over ceiling if they are burglars. So which you are not, right? Is there, is there anyone? SW, are you a burglar? A potential? <laughs> a burglar, burglars from time to time go over the ceiling, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't go over the ceiling, okay? Price ceiling, over which you cannot go. 
Yeah, below, below is you cannot go. Is that clear? So price ceiling, and then versus price floor. Let's attack ceiling first. Ceiling. So I refer you to figure one. There are two panels, one and A and B. And then the case of A is that this is market equilibrium, right? Market equilibrium means leave the market alone. <coughs> the price will turn out to be this. Will turn out to be this. That's market equilibrium. Okay, is that clear? <coughs> then <coughs> two, two cases of price ceiling. If government sets this is as the price price ceiling, the, the market price cannot go over over this. The that's unbinding ceiling is okay, meaningless. Okay. Unbinding ceiling is meaningless. Of course, leave the market alone. The price will not go over there anyway. Right? Anyway. Is that clear? So if this is unbinding ceiling is meaningless. Okay. So almost always when you say a ceiling, the price is lower than equilibrium price. Is that clear to you? Henji, are you getting me? So unbinding ceiling is meaningless. Okay. This is the price of the market own. Okay. Market, leave the market alone, price will be here. The government comes in, you cannot sell or buy any higher than this. Does it have any meaning? Does it affect? It doesn't. So that's what I call unbinding ceiling. This is simply okay. effectless. I shouldn't say meaning effectless. No effect at all. So, so momentarily, at least momentarily, the only meaningful, meaningful or uh, meaningful ceiling is binding ceiling, which is below, which is set below the market equilibrium price. This case, okay. In this case, so government comes in, we call intervenes, intervention. Sijang Cape, Korean language, okay. We call government intervention. Okay, intervenes, government intervenes in the marketplace and sets the highest price, that's ceiling. Highest price ceiling. You cannot go over there. Above there. You don't go above there, Ungun. Don't go above the ceiling. Don't try. Someone, don't do that too. Don't go over the ceiling. So, this is binding ceiling. So, now what do we have right now? What do we have right now? Price is lower than, okay, the price is lower than the equilibrium price, right? What do we have? Deficit or excess demand. This is, right now, many, some of you are in this, exactly in this situation, okay? Now, many people would, would, would like to secure the train tickets to home. So, TJ, I, have you secured your ticket to home? Or would you say home? So right now, train tickets are short supply, right? Okay, big, big deficit. Okay. What that I mean is the number of quantity demand is this one, right? QD, QS. Leave the market on two of them should be equal, as I say, but, but the government sets the price. What this means is that at this price, this many people are, would like to buy this one, okay? The, at this price, firms would sell only this much. Here again, don't forget that government cannot force firms to sell anything against their will. So, so if we, the price is set, your price, the price is set here. Okay. You are MPC. Remember, this is from MPC. Okay. So, Yerin, your firm's price is here. Market price is okay. We just stop or we just continue, continue your operation. Stop, right? That's voluntary. Government, your, our assumption is that government never forces any party because that's against the basic rule is the voluntary exchange, market exchange. Nobody is forced to anything against her, her own will, free will. I mean, so free will, voluntary, voluntary exchange is the starting point of 
market economy because of this. Okay. Firms following previously this was this much was Q. Okay. Q zero. Previously Q zero was the same as Q demand quantity demanded quantity supplied, right? So at this time the quantity demanded by people are exactly the same as quantity supplied by firm. Okay. Right now, because of this, is that some of you, some of the firms, Erin and company, KH and company, Onchang and company will, okay, so get, will get out of the market because it's, it's money losing operation. Nobody would, 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 would do uh, money losing business at all okay, because of this. Now, that's one thing. And secondly, previously only this, this, many, this money quantity was wanted, but now this much. Okay? So that's kind of double whammy, you call it double whammy. Double problems, double trouble, we call it double whammy. Whammy is W-H-A-M-M-Y, it's a very colloquial American language, double whammy. Double trouble. Highly colloquial language, whammy. I think the spelling is right, double whammy. Double trouble, double whammy. So, one more time, why, why is that double whammy? Smaller supply, bigger demand. This is double whammy, right? The gap gets even bigger. Okay, so this much quantity, just think of the train tickets to Busan or Gwangju or somewhere, okay? So demand is this many big, okay? Supply is this much small. Then there is mismatch. So what, what we need is the racing mechanism, racing mechanism, big bang Previously, you don't need to do that. Just enough, enough quantity is supplied. But right now, quantity demand. Okay. For example, all of you want uh, A plus, but the quantity is limited. Okay, so uh, uh, only I can give A plus on the front seat. Man, <laughs> that's highly competitive, right? Rationing mechanism. I have to decide whom to give the limited number of students of you to give the scarce A plus, okay? So that's why rationing, me rationing mechanism, because supply is limited, 10. Okay? Demand is 100. So I have to choose specific 10 to give assign, to, to allocate the limited resources, right? So question is, how to choose the particular term? So how, how shall I choose? This is a real story. How shall I choose someone? First come, first service. So literally, if I'm going to give A plus those of you sitting in the front line, what will happen? You'll sit over here. But that's very competitive, right? What will you do? You will stay in the line because I, I, the class door will not open until uh, 10 minutes before 9. What will you do? First comer, first 10, I will give the right. You make a, make a very, very long, long line. Right? Maybe you will make a tent over there and you stay there three days to be here. <laughs> okay, that's the first come, first serve the basis. That's first come, first serve the basis. Okay. What else can you think? I'm, I'm really talking about the real story. This is not just a joke. Okay. Limited, <coughs> quantity is limited. For example, remember, uh, something from time to, to time in, every, in any country, the, the post office uh, publish, uh, uh, okay, publishes or whatever, sells uh, ceremonial stamps, right? Then this quantity is limited. Or, or, or the tickets for tickets for 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 Super Bowl is limited, right? <laughs> Normally, the choice number first come first serve the basis. People stay long night. This is a true story. To get the Super Bowl game, people stay there for three months to live there because to to, very, to, to become the first to come to the first to, to ticket office first come first serve. That's a big problem. Okay, so you have to spend stay in the, here. It, Okay. In, you have to make, someone may, may want 
build a tent over there. I mean, is it, which is more convenient, studying in library or studying in, in the tent? Library, right? So that's inefficiency, what it call. People have to stand in line. That's a lot of waste of time. Okay, that's a big, big problem. What, would be the, what other choices can you think of? Lachi. Would it be acceptable? <laughs> I give you okay. 8 plus 10, only 10 out of you who are uh, lucky enough to get 8 plus Lachi. Would, would, would that be fair? I don't know. That is possible, certainly, right? Largely, largely, L O T P E R Y. Largely is alternative. What else? What else? Okay. Personal relationships. Okay. Personal relationships, because he was my previous <coughs> student. I know him already. Or, uh, Ungun was in my class for Senegi Sese. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Henji was there. Okay, so, so I'll give A plus to her. Is it acceptable to you? <laughs> That's personal relations. Okay. Some another case is there. Okay, corruption. Okay, corruption is highly, highly possible. Jian comes to me and pays pays me one million won, and I'm I'm. Very, very pleased to give her <laughs> A plus. <laughs> That's corruption. That's inevitable. That's highly, highly possible. And another case is a blank market. Okay. Blank market. Okay. So somehow, somehow, Jehu gets the, the privilege to get A, A plus privilege to me. He resell it to somebody else, <laughs> to highest bidder. That's blank market. That's all this what happens in the real world. So, Okay. First come, first base, waste of money, being money. Because you have to stand, stay in the line very, very long time depending on the popularity of the particular event. Understand? Okay, that's a waste of money. Number two, what, what else? Uh, largely, is it fair, do you think? So I, I, I distribute A plus on the basis of largely. Do you think that's fair? Is it fair? Is it fair? Do you agree with that? I know uh, Yunna agrees with that. <laughs> okay. I, I give A plus <laughs> through largely basis. <laughs> this is a joke. Yunna, don't get offended. This is a 100% joke. <laughs> OK, understandable. So uh, any, any case is the problem. So it's not fair. First of all, you think uh, this is the typically the case of rent. It's almost everywhere. Korea, you don't have right now, but very often the government talks about this to check the possibility of introduction of new system, rent, 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 rent control. America, that's, that's very real. Netherlands, do we have rent control? Any? Um, Netherlands is the most free country. Latvia, may you have rent control? So here, rent control is there. Is is that? The demand for the space, residential uh, uh, apartments, apartments is there. Then many, many possibilities. First comes, first serve basis. Normally, you have to put your name in the waiting list. You have to wait three years to get an apartment in Manhattan, especially Manhattan. You have to, okay. Otherwise, you, you buy favor from the superintendent in, in the apartment house, you, you give us something under the table, okay, one, ten, ten, ten thousand dollars on the table, and then you get the, the things like that. That happens, okay. So, it's very inefficient, okay. Then, to make things worse, rent, this is the case of long-term effect of rent control. <coughs> this short run, short run is, both are more or less, okay, limited. It, what long run, what would happen to this curve and that curve? Okay. Manhattan, the rent is very, very cheap. Okay. Then long term, okay, people will look for more apartments or less apartments in Manhattan. 
more right, long term. Otherwise, if the rent is very high, you will stay in New Jersey or somewhere, and then you'll commit from there. New Jersey is your, your, your parents' house. You will stay there, and you probably will commit. But just because it's very cheap, you put your name on the waiting list, right? It's if you're lucky enough, you'll get it. Or you are, you are, you are, you are the, uh, the, the boyfriend of the daughter of the superintendent, <laughs> something like that. So long term, this is increases. Demand increases, decreases. This is short term, more short term. <coughs> Demand increases, right? <coughs> that increases. Demand increases. But the, the, the other side of the equation is that if you are an apartment builder, would you build more apartment or less apartment? Less, less apartment. The apartment decline. Okay. Something like this. So make things long term, as time goes by, make it worse and worse and worse. And so this is exactly what is happening in the, especially in Manhattan, New York, city of New York. Mm -hmm. Then there are many, many uh, uh, un unhappy stories, uh, bad stories regarding this. So some celebrities who can afford to, uh, did you know that, what was, what was the, Beyonce? Beyonce uh, very lately put, on, put her, her house on the block. Her, her, the price was, the price tag was, Seventy-two million dollars, Beyonce. It's literally very recently. So Beyonce is that she has a okay, gorgeous house somewhere else, but still, she was because simply he put her, she put her name on the, the waiting list. Now she lives in apartment. She has an a, a, apartment in Manhattan too. So which could be occupied by some busy, very busy business person of there. So is it, is it fair, unfair? So the starting point is that seemingly to help poor people. This starting point is that government comes here all the way, to my eyes, okay, the rent is way too high for, especially for poor people. Then I have to set, I'm going to set. Then is, is it fair? It becomes fairer or less fair? Maybe less fair. Okay, so the conclusion is that seemingly, seemingly, okay, seemingly the government intervention marketplace, okay, to make the situation more equitable, but the real consequences that makes the thing even less equitable. That mostly happen. So why does this does this not go away because of? Okay, love is of the so-called vested interest. Kidakonja okay. in the Korean language. Because of this, government knows this, okay, the, the side, effect, side effects. Sometimes the, the, the cure is worse than the disease. Have you heard of that expression in, the, in English? Okay, one more time. Very often, very often it happens that, okay, very often the cure is worse than the disease. This is a typical example. The cure, the disease is that poor people, poor people cannot afford to okay, cannot afford to rent uh, apartments. The government intervenes. It becomes even more difficult because, like Beyonce owns, Dion owns, has, has has occupies an apartment there. Then, as Dion and Soyeon occupies apartment, who can add, who can afford to some nice nice residence somewhere else? Because of simply they are uh, occupy the Manhattan apartment, the poor Sungwon and Eunggun cannot occupy because <laughs> competition becomes even more competitive, right? Is it happening with me? That's, but government knows this story, but because of uh, some vested is interest, it's very difficult for government to change a policy because always, almost always, okay, government policy gives favor. It's it's. Just, Selective, the favor is not the same. The effect of a government policy is not the same. Some people lose it, some people win. Think about that. Previously, some people is, were in the winning position. The government is going to change the policy to something different. They will stay calm? No, nobody will. They will protest very, very seriously. So because of this, once in, it's very difficult to take it away. That's probably here. 
Okay, is it clear? So, so rent is the uh, normally government control ceiling or floor. Okay, one more time, we'll talk about the floor uh, Wednesday. But either one, either one is is has, has been is is chosen as a way a cure for an, an undesirable uh, situation in a society. But almost all, not almost all, is more often than not. The cure is worse than the disease. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, the, the expression, keep the expression in mind too. The cure, very often, okay, the cure is worse than the disease. Okay. okay. So diagram, in terms of diagram, this is final today, but we really, okay. In terms of diagram, this is final. This is a highly, highly relevant case in Korea. Very, very unique in Korea, too. Maybe uh, international students, three of you, may not understand this story, but Koreans are very, very much aware of this story. Okay. So, Bunyanka Sanganje, everybody has heard of this one. Bunyanka Sanganje, that means the government controls, puts a ceiling on the newly built. We, in Korea, you call it apartments, but that really means condominiums. In English, apartment is to rent. English, okay. Condominiums are to sell. But Korea somehow, uh, apartments are built to sell, not to rent. Okay. So we mean uh, this Korean apartment. Then asset market. Asset market is, this is consumer goods market. We don't have this kind of difference. But asset market, almost all you have two different types of market. One is Okay, primary market, eh? primary market, stock IPO, that's the most typical. Eh? Okay. Have we heard of the news that t Twitter is going to make an IPO um, in, a, in a couple of months? IPO. Okay, IPO. Just Gongkyeop Gongkye, initial public offering. Twitter, you know, everybody is familiar with Twitter, right? You use Twitter. You have to Twitter account, right? Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> anyway. uh, so, Facebook went public uh, May 2012, last year. And then back there was kind of, it was it turned up to become kind of scandal. But now Twitter is going to go public, is to sell it. That's IPO. So. Getting back to asset market, most of every asset market we have two different. First market, primary, and secondary market. Apartment, this is newly built apartments. Here, one more time, I say apartments, I really mean condominiums because that's Korean term. Condominium, apartment is Korean term for condominiums. Okay, anyway, so new apartment, newly built. Okay, and then secondary, Apartment, existing apartment, you buy and sell. Stock, existing, you see, right now you, you buy and sell Samsung Electronics stocks, that's secondary market. Existing house, the same story, newly built apartment, the existing that you can sell. What is unique, unique in Korea is the, okay. this is it's kind of simplified version, not exactly true, very simply, very close to reality. Thing is that, in general, uh, government uh, is going to control the price of apartment. They have to control both markets. But Korea somehow, government control only this market, newly built market only. Not secondary market. There's no, right, no restriction, the selling price of Akujongdong, Dechidong apartment. That's built only a long time, two, two, two decades ago, three decades ago. Oh, do you live in uh, Tower Palace? <laughs> okay, Jian, do you live in Tower Palace? Mm -hmm. Do you do? DJ? Uh -huh. well, this was a joke too. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, my question is that Korea, the very unique policy is that government controls on only the primary market only. Secondary market is just free market. Yeah. The situation is something like this. So now, leave the market alone. Actually, in, in terms of stocks, okay, houses, there's no big difference between newly built and primary, secondary. Pretty much the same story, right? 
This is your prefer angle. Newly built apartment or three year old apartment. Which would you choose? Newly built? No, I would choose three year old apartment because three year old apartment is seasoned apartment. So the all the best smells are gone. You know, problem, possible problems maybe have have been fixed type of thought. So you understand what I'm saying? Especially when, when it comes to apartment. Three years old, three year old apartment is much better than newly built apartment. You never know what's, what is wrong with the newly built apartment. Okay? So, but in any case, okay, in the, when it comes to apartment, there's no big difference between primary and secondary market. Are there? Is there any big difference between primary and secondary market? How, how about the stock? Newly issued stock, old stock? I mean, just eh? no, no difference, right? So, in most, but car market is totally different. Car market is what right, you have two folded market, right? New car market, used car market. That's totally different story. Eh? But anyway, we have two, two this one. primary market, secondary market. Eh? Okay, uh, in the second half of this course, we'll come to this one more time. The thing is that treatment is very different in the, in the Ah, uh, so, yeah, very nice idea. Okay, let me focus on this very simple story. So, this is the market, leave the market alone, this is easy dirt, right? This is the, the price. But somehow government puts a ceiling here, ceiling for newly primary market. Then this is primary market here, okay? Then what do we have right now? Deficit or surplus? Deficit, excess, excess, excess demand, right? Then here again, we need what? Racing, a racing mechanism. So many ways, right? As I say, staying in the line. First come, first serve basis. What else? Lachi. In Korea, the answer is Lachi. Lachi. That's the answer. Okay. Then, to be eligible for the large okay, assignment, what do we have to have? Certain type of deposits, 주식 청약 예금, you have to have, right? Okay. Then the thing is that rich people can have many, multiple deposits. Poor people have difficulty having one, maintain one deposit. So anyway, to, to be eligible for the lottery participation, we need, okay, we have to maintain for many years uh, uh, a deposit, okay. It's spe specially designed for this purpose only. A special purpose, we have special purpose deposit, we have to have it. The, the, the thing is that rich people can afford to many deposits, but poor people, it's dif difficult to, it, Keep only one deposit eventually. Okay, that's free condition. And second, okay, that's deposit. Secondly, lottery. Okay. The lottery, the machine, differentiate poor people from rich people. Does the lottery machine have an eye to differentiate poor people from rich people? No, it doesn't. If, if they did, okay, it did, maybe it, the, the machine will give special favor to poor people, right? But you cannot expect that because it doesn't have emotion. A machine, the slot machine, the slot, the slot machine doesn't have any, any humanity or no, nothing. Just simply, that's a matter of probability. Okay? When the odds higher, meaning you have only one deposit, you have five deposits. Who has more chances to get the, the, the privilege to apartment? Rich people, right? Okay. So now, somehow, you are very unlucky, okay, unfortunate. Many people are, right? With fortune doesn't differentiate people, poor people. Fortune is simply, okay, by, by accident, simply by accident comes to you, may come to you, may not come to you. Simply, a matter of probability, mm -hmm. neutral. Okay. Then, for some people are very, so, really, really 
uh, unfortunate people cannot have, okay, cannot buy apartment repeatedly. Okay, then poor people can poor people do uh, without a house. Do they do they not need poor people? Do poor people not need any residence to live in? Same way, like a requirement need is the same. Okay, and then the only choice on my time, okay, there is a poor people, really poor people, Hongbu, really poor people. Hongbu, Hongbu keeps failing from the lottery. But eventually, Hongbu also needs an apartment, right? The, the alternative is what? Where? Secondary market, right? Secondary market. This is a secondary market, quantity limited, something like this. The secondary market, the price in the secondary market is higher than otherwise. One more time. To leave the market alone, market will, price will be set here. Right? Then to give benefits to, 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 of the newly market, price ceiling here, here. But secondary market, the price is set even higher than the equilibrium situation. So, in this scenario, who wins the most and who loses the most? Rich people win the most, poor people lose the most. That's exactly what happened. So in, you, you probably you held, have heard of the, some people, one of my friends uh, own like many, many apartments in, in what is the Tower Palace. Simply, he could do that simply because he was very rich. He could do that. Poor people, okay. So here and there, okay. The, so this week, so one of the conclusions of this week is that government policy like this, very often harms the most, uh, the, those people the most who government wants to help. Poor people, uh, initially, Government okay, introduced this type of rent in either case. Okay, in either case, initially government intention was to help poor people, but the conclusion is that very often poor people turn out to be the the most the the, the greatest losers. Okay, then this is today's story. So let's check whether. Let's quickly go over the plus note today to see if we have missed anything. Oh, uh, I refer to the middle of page three. Effects of uh, binding price ceiling, of course, okay, because unbinding ceiling is meaningless. Inefficient, number one, okay, under utilization process. What I mean by that, that is that, uh, leave the market alone, this much will be okay, supplied, right? This price link, this much will be supplied. This is under utilization of resources, inefficient. Okay. The additional cost is the compliance cost. To series, as I explained here, you have to make a long line. Whichever case, you have to make a long line. That's a waste of money. And the enforcement cost all this, any law, any policy, for people. Okay. They are follow compliance cost. And then from the government side. Government has to manage all this difficult, complicated process, right? That's not the management of these complicated processes doesn't come for free. Government have to hire government officials and give them salaries and things like that. And they can, sometimes government had build facilities to accommodate the people like that. Okay. Bottom, bottom of page three, free market rates and goods with prices. Okay, prices. So, one more time, price contains all the relevant information. Encapsulation of all information is the price. And then, relying on the price is mostly efficient, most efficient result you can expect. So, bottom of page three, if you think market price is inequitable, price ceiling is even more so, more inequitable. Okay, uh, here again, so, uh, top of page four, 
I refer you to the textbook. That's a very interesting story. Figure two is that uh, uh, 1973, four, that time, oil crisis. In America, there was long gas stations. There was long, long lines. Then making lines, based on money. Okay. It was that oil crisis was caused only because of government action. Otherwise, leave the market, there is no, no price. Just equal amount of equal amount of oil be applied to the market. One more time. Without government okay, intervention, there wouldn't have been an uh, oil crisis. So comparing America, America, there was people felt very, very seriously, very closely, oh, this is the effect of oil, oil, oil crisis. But okay, in comparison to America, Japanese people, German people didn't realize there was anything like oil crisis because market, okay, market oil price goes up. But in any case, the market is cleared. No waiting line in the gas station on anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, the near the bottom of page four. Okay. Immediate above the item number five, price floors. Okay. So who do, does the government want to protect with these ceilings? Poor people. Okay. Then who benefits the most and who loses the most from this distor distortion of the market? Okay. The effect is just the opposite. Okay. Rich people, affluent people, uh, opulent people, uh, in, in general, not always again, win while, while at the expense of poor people. Okay, so we are exactly on time. Any questions, comments? So, so I hopefully I'll see most of you Wednesday, not all of you. Huh?